Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at a Coleman Salia Spa four-person inflatable hot tub. I bought this on Amazon. It was on sale for about oh, $280. I think they usually go for $550 to $600. Looking at the box, that's the cover that comes out with the top. This is the um, what you use to blow up both the cover and the hot tub itself this port later is used to hook into the bubbles um, for the bubbles when you have the in the hot tub inflated also there you see filter a chem connect which is where you put your chlorine there's my daughter's hand she had wanted to say hi to everybody <clears throat> in just a minute here i'm going to show you um, how to set it up. Here's an up close with the Chem Connect. You open that up. You can put a chlorine tablet in there, right in there. And then um, rotating it clockwise decreases the amount of chlorine. And I'll show you where that slots into the hot tub later. That's the plug. And f for after you inflate the hot tub, that's used for inflating the hot tub. Not exactly sure what this is for. If somebody knows, let please let me know and then this here is the filter pod so this just unscrews the little filters that slot inside that and then a little bit later I'll show you where that attaches on the inside of the hot tub filters I find about every every couple of weeks depending on how much you use your hot tub you want to be cleaning the filter or replacing it. And that's what one of the filters looks like. My hot tub came with two filters. I don't know if that is a usual thing or not. Uh, but anyway, you can pick up extra filters if you need them. Here we're going to do a little time lapse of setting things up. The big gray pod that has all of your electronics in it, the heater and everything. Um, it's kind of a, I mean, everything you need really, except the water <laughs> comes with the, the hot tub here. Um, we can just screw this in and then you'll hold down the bubble button and that's what inflates the bladder uh, hopefully in a follow-up video I'm gonna show the bladder we've been using this for several weeks now the bladder in the lid actually does not stay inflated very well and so I have actually made out of some foam I actually made a, a more rigid cover also a thermal imaging camera I looked at the hot tub seems to lose a lot of its heat out of the top so the instructions say to let the air run for about five minutes to inflate it um, I found that's yeah that's pretty accurate here just hooking up the big gray one is for the bubbles and then the other two are water lines I filled this we have a tankless hot water heater so I filled this up with hot water so I didn't have to wait for it to like preheat or anything like that uh, this took approximately 45 minutes to fill it up with our water pressure I also put our hot tub on a a big stack of or a couple of sheets of the rigid foam insulation the bottoms of these hot tubs really aren't insulated and since this is sitting on a deck uh, I figured that was a good, and we live in a kind of northern climate in the Midwest. We figured that the, having the foam underneath it was going to be important. A couple of stats that are important. This plugs into just a regular household outlet. There's lots of videos out there on, on that and energy usage. Um, it, if you have just a 15 amp breaker, running the bubbles there for a second. If you have a 15 amp breaker, you'll want to make sure you don't have anything else running on it. Anyway, hope you found this helpful. Thanks.